Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So, we just defeated our first ball here. Now, let's go ahead and go to a party chat, and then we'll continue on with the game. Huh, Rifo, what are those scraps of paper? I haven't the foggiest. I discovered them among the other detritus in the crater. <clears throat> it's quite the stack, but they're all mixed up. Are these someone's notes? They're all damp, and the ink is blurred and washed out. So, I leave risks my mask to me this place can't make heads or tails of this. If I take these scraps back with me and properly restore them, I may yet be able to decipher them. Were they all written by a single author, or several perhaps? The plot thickens. I can hardly wait to get back to the lab. I think you've discovered a cure for insomnia. Works Work like that would put me to sleep. That is how serious academic research is done, I'm afraid. Isn't that right, you? I suppose. You haven't changed at all, have you, uh, Rifa? Hmm? Why would I? Why would I have? Oh, but deciphering these papers will prove quite the challenge. Ooh, just thinking about the hours of work that I had gets the scholar and me all fired up. I guess it takes all kinds of courage and research. Rifa. Okay, whatever. Alright. We're technically done here, so we can actually use the teleport stone. And now we gotta head back to Al Campus. So, uh, okay, I think we're gonna get another cutscene if we step out. Your Majesty, you might be interested to know that a new ball landed on Luxendark. Tell me more. It seems the poor thing's already croaked. Done in by Eugenie Olja and his motley crew. Felling a ball is no small task. His strength grows. A pitiful little thing, this ball. Wiped out by a boy before it even had the chance to say hello. It must have taken quite the beating from the moon's defenses. And what of our own specimen? Sleeping peacefully, your majesty. Dreaming sweet ball dreams. That will do. It is but one small part of our grand plan. We will rouse it from slumber when the time is right. <laughs> but of course, your majesty. Okay, so... Whatever their plan is, we now know it has to do with awakening the big ball. So, okay. Anyway, I'm going to shut up for a minute. We have to sail all the way back. All right. Back to Al Campus we go. Rain and Harina? Now that's something you don't see every day. Oh man, couldn't it have waited till we got back to Al Campus? We'll be soaked. Cheer up, everyone. I'll have you know I prepared for this very occasion. What's that? Voila! Ball skin umbrellas! No need to push and shove. There's one for everyone. Ball skin Did umbrellas? Did he say... Uh, ball skin? This is kind of gross, you know. <laughs> Way to be resourceful, you. Thanks, sir. Coming from you, that means a lot. But you... Where is your own umbrella? Well, only four of them were still in good condition. But don't worry about me. I don't mind a little rain. Don't worry. H how can you tell me not to worry? Here, you. We can share. Are you sure? Mais oui. We can't have you catching cold. Here. Come closer. Uh, thank you. You. You're all red. Have you come down with a fever? N no. It's nothing, really. <sighs> Idia, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't you two look cozy? Yes, we are. So? I don't know about where you come from, but here in Luxendark, when a boy and a girl share an umbrella... <sighs> Un couple? A couple, you say? Uh... Oh, you! Your other shoulder is getting soaked! Uh, I'm fine. Really? What about you? Aren't your feet getting wet? Don't worry about me. Just try to stay dry. I promise you I'm fine. Watch your feet, okay? Aww. <laughs> These two are really hitting it off, aren't they? 
Still, that umbrella is awfully small for two people. Here, you can use my. Yeah! Get a clue, blockhead! <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Uh, uh, oh, look! My umbrella's broken. Oops, my hand slipped. But you drop kicked me. Hand, leg, what's the difference? And if you think I'm gonna let you under my umbrella, you've got another thing coming. You've made your bed. Now get soaked in it. Here, here. What did I do now? Dang idea. I gotta do my boy Tiz like that. Wait, it's her holiness. My friends, I finally figured out where we are. Where? Tell us more. The air is sweltering, and I can hear the grinding of great gears. Why, this could only be... Anshine! Exactly! What happened to you, Tiz? You're soaking wet. Oh, this? It's a... Thank the heavens! Uh... For what? You're still bathing every day. I was worried the road had been hard on you. Oh, and look at you! Why, your face is all red! You mustn't stay in the hot water for too long. <sighs> we lost our connection. For being the Empire's captive, she sure seems to be in good spirits. That's good, at least. I'll say. And now we know our next destination. Anshime isn't far from here. And with that, I must return to my studies. I can hardly wait to get back to the Spire and begin analyzing all this data. Let's go to Anshime. I, I want to go there. Out about balls, I promise you'll be the first to know. Please do, Rifa, and I'll be sure to take copious notes. This has been a most enlightening excursion, my friends. Take care and be safe. Farewell, Rifa. Good luck in your studies. Yeah, I thought this city was Anchime in the future, but apparently not. Um, let's go ahead and give it a quick save a here, and I need to. Know oh, never mind. Actually, let's go do some do this in different. Let's go to the inn. Let's see. Could I just let me just go ahead and uh, buy this? Let's just buy those. Okay, so we don't even have the time mage yet, but I'm going to buy that. Uh, spell those, those spells in it. Okay, let's go to Anchime. I've been waiting to go to Anchime. Deck is going on with your city, bud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's this? A sandstorm? Ow! I think I got something in my eye. Are you all right, you? Well, this won't do. We can't even get close to the city. I hope the people inside are okay. Do you have some connection here, Idia? You bet we do. I wasn't gonna tell the story, but hey, if you insist. And I must say, it's quite a tale. You'll laugh, you'll cry. On second thought, it sounds long. Let's save it for another day. Oh, come on. Hey, here, I'll just give you the highlights. Long story short, Anshine was a land of booming industry. Powered by harnessing the force of the wind. But when we came here, the wind crystal was engulfed in darkness, and the winds had gone still. A group of shifty schemers took advantage of the situation, manipulating the people for their own profit. Together with Agnes, we awakened the crystal, got the winds blowing again, and brought the bad guys to justice. Wow, what a clear and concise explanation. You sure have a way with words, sir. What a remarkable tale. Grr, grr, grr. You just had to go and steal my spotlight. But go figure. Last time we were here, there was no wind at all. Now it's blowing so strong we can't even get in. I'll bet you peed to pancakes that that Kaiser is behind this. He's trying to keep us away from Agnes. Let's return to El Campus. If the sandstorm is magical in origin, surely someone in the Department of Sorcery will know how to dispel it. Now that sounds like a plan. This is like the fourth time we've ran back to our campus to figure something out. Okay, well then we run back. Oh, also, I think just for a little while, let's switch up the order. Let's put you up front, just for a little while here. So I think the red mage costume actually looks kind of sick. Okay. 
Ooh, fat boy can help us. Okay. Pardon me. Might we have a moment of your time? Hmm. Five star scholar Pudgius Bismal has no time for peasants and pudding heads. Yeah. It's that fat head who was picking on Rifa. Picking on Rifa? Me? Watch your tongue, you no star bore. I merely deign to give the girl the opportunity to assist her superior. Good gravy. Look, Rifa's a friend of mine. Couldn't you just leave her alone? And who are you to give orders to me? Hmm? Are you even an Al Campus alumnus? My name is you. You, Genialja. <laughs> of House Genialja? And, uh, if I might be so bold as to inquire, how many stars did you have during your time here at our alma mater? I was a five star, same as you. I see, I see. So we are equals. <laughs> well, when I graduated, they, they added a six. No, a thousand apologies. I'll, I'll leave Reef alone. You have my word. Well, that was easy. Talk about a clear-cut case of classism. He sounds like a completely different person. I didn't want to have to pull rank, but if it helps out Reefa, it's worth it. Is there any other way I might be of assistance? If Pudgius Bismol can do anything for you, simply speak the word. Well, now that you mention it, we have business in Ansheim, but the city's caught in a vicious sandstorm. We're looking for a way to quell the winds. Do you know anyone in El Campus who could help us? A sandstorm? Oh, why, you should speak to Professor Norzen. Professor Norzen? THE Professor Norzen? You know this professor? Of course. He's practically a legend in El Campus. They say his knowledge of all fields of magic is second to none. Gosh. If the stories are true, the professor could stop a sandstorm with a wave of his hand. That said, I've never actually spoken to him. The rumor has it, he hasn't left his office in years. Uh, if I may, I overheard my classmates saying they spotted him on campus not days ago. They saw him heading into the Arcanatorium in the Spire of Learning. Mayhaps you should pay a visit? Thank you. I think we'll do just that. You're most welcome. Yes, most welcome indeed. Okay, so... Professor Norzen's office oh. should be just this way. We just skip right to it. Hold it right there. Only faculty are allowed to be on this point. Run along now. But we're here to see Professor Norzen. Hey, you! Put those six stars of yours to work! Um, I'm you, Jenny Olja? El Campus alumnus. I am a, uh, six star scholar, sir. Be that as it may, I'm sorry. I was specifically instructed not to admit anyone. Please be on your way. Crap, we don't have DeRosa. He's still watching us. What should we do? We'll just have to come back at night and sneak in. Out of the question! Huh? Why? If we come back after that teacher goes home, we just might be able to slip inside. T trust me, coming here at night is not a good idea. And I'm asking why? And I'll tell you why. Because it's against campus rules. Yep, no students allowed inside after sundown. Too bad, but rules are rules. What about that sign? Take care with lamps when entering the spire at night. Only you can prevent campus fires. Doesn't sound like we'd be breaking any rules. <laughs> well, there's no getting anything by you, is there, sir? So, why is sneaking in at night such a bad idea? All right, you got me. It's the seven horrors. The seven horrors of El Campus! Seven horrors? Ah, oh, we had silly ghost stories at the Officers' Academy in Eternia, too. I'm telling you, the seven horrors of El Campus are true. 
Mr. Bones, the skeleton in the biology lab that comes to life at night? Yeah, we had him too. The peeping portrait. A painting of Arca Peller in the music room, whose eyebrows move. <gasps> Not his eyes? Bloody Mori. The giant eel in the bathroom mirror. Uh... The gargantuan professor who roams the hallways in search of truant students. Fluffy, the black cat that causes bad luck when it crosses your path! I'm not feeling the horror. The disembodied voice taking role in an empty lecture hall, but never able to finish, because it's always interrupted by... Ah! Ah! Oh, don't do that, Magnolia! You scared me half to death! But I just saw a mouse! See? Look how scared we all are! Let's forget about this silly idea of sneaking in at night, okay? Okay. <sighs> now, now, this is all just superstition. Let's head out and come back after sundown. Doesn't anything scare you, sir? Nah, because he raised sheep. Okay, well... Looks like we gotta go just... Wait outside, then? Fair enough. Oh, uh, actually, let's take a look at the moon here, bud. Let's go ahead and take care of, um... Okay. Um, just one got done. Let's go ahead and stick, um... A couple people on that bad boy. Let's get out. Alright, alright, alright. Guess the sun comes down, my yawn comes out. Let's run into the spire at nighttime. Looks like the cats are out again. We could go see Master Kamizumi. Probably still healing. Yeah, he's healing it out of campus, right? Anyway. For what is this sh what's shining? Is there an item in any of these corners? Ooh, high potion. Cool. This light. Is someone inside? Ah! Oh, Willy the Wisp! The ghostly torch that burns endlessly inside empty offices! You! Give it a rest already! I, I can't help it. Ghost stories are my only real fear. You know? Then Same, stop bro. telling Same. them! I can't even tell if you're trying to scare us or yourself! Settle down, everyone. Let's just head inside, okay? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the paranormal either. Big white man with a big crystal. Same astrologer. It's. Mm, could it be? Inconceivable. <coughs> but the stars, they speak to me. Um, pardon me, Professor? And yet, so many mysteries they have yet to reveal. One, two, six lights? Whatever could these be? Oh. 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 Hmm. Professor! Oh. Who, who goes there? That's Adia's grandfather. He's not a professor. Well, well, if it isn't you again. Wait, you're the old fortune teller from Eternia. What are you doing here, Pops? <laughs> Why would I be anywhere else? This is, after all, my own office. Your office? You're Professor Norzin? Very astute, six-star scholar, you, Olger. You're the 23rd in our school's history, you know. What? I am Professor Norzin Horoskoff, a specialist in astrology and the arcane. In my spare time, I enjoy ballroom dancing and gardening. Well, I uh, yeah, keep that in mind. So, what were you doing in Eternia anyway? The stars spoke to me of a great calamity that would threaten our world. And so, I traveled to Eternia that I might find a way to awaken the hero Tis Aurea. But then the Empire struck, making it all but impossible to reach Tiz on my own. So we Once did it. Once more, I looked to the heavens for guidance. And this time, I was able to bring four stars together. 
So it was you that led my friends to me, who helped them wake me from my slumber. You have my thanks, Professor Norzen. Ho ho! The miracle tis Aurea in the flesh. And this is our other star. Mm hmm. Twas a harbinger of good fortune after all. <laughs> hmm? Actually, we had a question for you, Professor. Yes, my boy? We're trying to get to the Skyhold, but a massive sandstorm is swirling around the nation of Anshine. We can't even get close. Do you know some way to quiet the winds? Why, that I do. Hmm. Most indubitably. Indubitably. All right. Oh, well, oh, please tell us, Professor. Heed my words well, my boy. You can't do it. I know how to quiet the storm, because it is I who summoned it. Why? Professor? I... I must have misheard you. It wasn't the Kaiser who caused the sandstorm, but you? Just so. With it, I will bring the Skyhold down. While guiding the four of you to the Skyhold, I was also exploring ways to vanquish the Empire on my own. After much research, Eureka! It came to me! Using the power of this crystal, I would unleash a great sandstorm! A sandstorm of such fearsome force that it would rip the Skyhold from the sky and send it crashing to the Earth, Kaiser and all! Hold it right there, Pops! What's going to happen to the people of Anshim? Many lives will be lost, no doubt. And yet it is a risk we must take. After all, the Kaiser and the Skyhold are within my sphere of arcane influence. It would be pure folly to let him escape unscathed. For the future of Lux and Dark, the people of Anshine will make the most noble of all sacrifices. Miguel Coulot! How could you? But, Professor, Pope Agnes is in the Skyhold too. You mean to sacrifice not only the people of Anshine, but Her Holiness as well? My boy, I wish there were no need, but the stars have spoken. This is the only way, and so I shall heed the heavens. I will bring down the Empire no matter the cost. I do not expect you to understand. I have chosen my path, and I will follow it. I see. Then we must do the same. Yes, and I think our choice is clear. We'll defend Her Holiness and the people of Ansheim. Just watch us! Ho-ho! Oh, impressive resolve, boy. And yet resolve and lofty ideals are all but worthless in the hands of the weak. Do you have the strength to realize your ideals, boy? Then summon that strength and defeat me, holder of the Astrologian Asterisk! Do it. Do you truly possess the power to overthrow the Kaiser? To save Pope Agnes and the people of Ansheim? Or are those just empty vows? I, Norzen, shall be the arbiter of your worth! Let's do it. I am Norzen of Stars Innumerable, Professor Emeritus of Alcampus, and holder of the Astrologian Asterisk. Let your final examination begin! Okay. Default. I don't know what the Astrologian does. We're just gonna go ahead and default. Okay, give yourself a boost. Go ahead and default to everyone again. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh, you got an extra thingy here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start using. So, wait, fire? Let's just use fire, I guess. The deal, it's default, default, and default here. Professor, do you truly believe what you're doing is right? That the goal of defeating the Kaiser justifies this terrible sacrifice? How little you understand, my boy. Two and a half years ago, when the crystals were swallowed by darkness, I could only stand by and watch as brave men and women fought for their own beliefs, their own sense of justice. I sat here in my office, unsure as to which side to lend my strength. In doing nothing, I brought only greater tragedy. I will not repeat my mistake. 
This time, I will trust my own sense of justice. I will take action! I used to feel the same way. I thought nothing was more important than sticking to my own sense of justice. We fought on, and the people around us paid the price for our actions. We want to make a different choice this time. The choice not to sacrifice others for our beliefs. Okay, okay, that does literally nothing. Good to know. Okay, let's not do- Ooh, that hurts. Why does that hurt? Okay, well, we can't use- Okay, let's just- let's do some... We can't use trample, because... Yeah, that was a hard hit. Let's do some holy knights here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do some tramples with her. And hopefully no one dies here in the meanwhile. Tra okay. Good bit of damage there. I don't even know if that's enough, but it's a good amount of damage. Okay, we got the Holy Knights off. Hopefully we'll get a chance to at least default here before he just kills one of us outright. Okay, that's, that's some good damage actually. Okay. It's default, default, and this should give us a bit of healing here. That should have healed! Bruh. Okay, well that's fine. Let's do a phoenix. And then we can do a cure on all allies here. Let's do a default. And let's do a heal. All allies, heal on all allies. And heal on all allies. Man, this guy's hard, actually. This guy's hard. Maybe I'm actually under-leveled for this fight. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm under-leveled. This guy's kicking my butt at the moment. Like, real good. And he's not really weak to anything, either. Like, let's just say I use, like, a... Let's use a lightning here. Okay. we can. Let's do some normal attacks with the Dia. Let's do a trample with Magnolia. Okay, Lightning doesn't do a crazy much more. Okay, Dia's doing plenty of magic with her hits, surprisingly, though. See, but that 800 damage... What in the world? Okay, well, let's just Phoenix down to Dia. We're gonna go through a lot of Phoenix downs this way, though. Okay, let's just heal a Dia. Let's just use two more tramples here. We'll get through this fight, but this is definitely going to be a hard fight. I need to... I need to grind. I'm a... Okay. Uh... I'm going to run out of Phoenix Downs. This is, this is, like, not a good idea here. But, um, let's just keep defaulting here. Do another trample, I guess. Ouch. Okay. Let's default. Default. Get some defaults going. Actually, with you, I need to do. What can I do to help here? There's not like even. I could do some cures, I guess. Let's do a cure on Adia. This way, maybe I could do Blazing Wolf and just do some attacks here. With Tiz. Let's do a heal on everyone. And then with Magnolia, let's do two tramples. That'll work for now. I just, and I wish I had examined to see how much HP this guy has. I don't like it when I miss, though. Missing is no fun. Give himself another physical boost. I don't have anything to get rid of that, right? No. I wonder... Are these gonna be any... Can I just... Are these any stronger? Wait. Uh... Let me just... This might be like a terrible idea. But I just feel like I'm never going to use these in-game. I'm just going to go ahead and use them now. And then, I don't even know if the, the wine will work. You know, I'm not going to even use that one. Let's just go ahead and use... Um, a frost. It's default. And default here. Okay, that does a bit more damage. Okay, that's actually really good. That helps us quite a bit there. Yeah, that's not a lot of damage later in the game, but right now, that's a quite a bit of damage, just for right now. Um, let's just go ahead and... Let's keep defaulting. We could probably use some tramples here. Maybe he's close to dead? 
Maybe I'm being a little too ambitious here, but maybe. I try to do as much damage as humanly possible, though. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Let's just do three, maybe. Cure on all allies, cure on all allies, cure on all allies. And same thing here. Let's go ahead and just do a heal and a heal. Okay, good. That, those cures came off. Ooh, so it's getting dry. I'm glad those cures came off first. So my noise didn't seem to get those. That's alright, let's do an attack and then default here. Magic mirror? Does that just put a reflect? That's not a big deal. I don't care if you reflect. I'm just gonna attack you anyway with some physical attacks. Let's go ahead and do heal on Magnolia. Oh, with Magnolia. Ooh, let's just do normal attacks. I don't wanna I don't wanna do trample. Oh, she doesn't do a crazy amount of damage though. Well, eh, that's alright. Let's do a heal. Yeah, that, that might have been a little mistake there, but... Okay, Magnolia's dead. Aw, oh, don't kill him now. Magnolia's not gonna get the XP, man. I mean, I guess... No, that's a, that's a right shame. Right before he died, too, with like 100 HP. Alright, what does the Astiologian do? I literally have no idea what this class does. What do you do? Read the stars to give your allies adept to astral magic favors rods. So is this just, uh... This is, um... A support class, right? Good with rods. It's just a support class. Okay, I'll have to look at its, like, abilities and stuff, but it doesn't really look like anything that I want. Uh, you are strong, my children. Professor, we beg of you. Please, stop the sandstorm. We'll defeat the Kaiser. There's no need for the people of Ansheim to suffer any longer. It would seem you have something to back up those words after all. <coughs> you have passed your test with flying colors. Twould seem that I was the one who lacked the courage of my convictions after all. To tell the truth, Ansheim is where I was born so many years ago. The last thing I wanted was to see my beloved home come to harm. And yet, consumed with remorse and regret, I had convinced myself that the Sandstorm was the only way. Through your strength and your words, you have shown me that there is another. You children are the future. I put my trust and faith in you. We did it! But before you depart for Ansheim, there is one more task I would ask of you. A ta- The Compass of Space and Time, a storied relic of ancient Harina. I would have you recover it. Ever since the Skyhold arrived in these lands, it has been drifting to and fro, fro almost as if it were searching for something. After days of pouring through the histories and nights of speaking to the stars, it came to me. The compass! The Kaiser seeks the compass! The compass? Of space and time? The compass has the power to reshape our very world. We must keep it from the Kaiser at all costs. If the tomes speak true, the compass rests in the sea caves of Harina. You must travel south, past the desert, then east through the forests from the Altar of Wind. Now hurry, you must find the compass before the Kaiser. A compass? A compass? A compass, Musa? Meow, there's a tail I'm glad I caught. That voice. Mew. <laughs> Didn't Mew notice? Fluffy here was keeping tabbies on Mew. And Mew just happened to cough up a butte about some compass of strays and lime. Oh, his Meowjesty will be so pleased. You're the girl we saw fishing. Minette is his Meowjesty the Kaiser's master of cats and a trained Meow Assassin. Cats are great. They never betray Mew. Cats are great. They leave Mew alone. Cats are great. They get by on their Mew. Mew. Look out, everyone! Sick 
some fluffy. <sighs> Professor! Attaboy, Fluffy. Meow! <laughs> See? Cats everywhere are my friends. Professor! Are you okay? Professor! <sighs> this should put that sandstorm back in the litter box. I need to inform his Meowjesty. I'll be back for me later. Ta-ta for Meow! I'm a shot. Should we go after her? Let her go. The professor needs our help. Hang in there, Pops. Here, let me see your wounds. Oh, worry not for me, my child. I have seen it in the stars. I am not so foolish as to misread the day of my own demise. <sighs> Mayhap this is the price I pay for putting my pride above the lives of my countrymen. No, this can't! This can't be happening! Do not look so sad, my boy. This path I chose, I chose for myself. You too must follow your path, my children, for your path will lead not to pain but to a bright future. Yes, Professor. Oh, that's the spirit, my shining stars. And as my own star dims, I ask you once more, find the compass. Whatever may come, you must keep it out of the Kaiser's hands. I understand. You can count on us, Professor. Let I do, my stars. And let the shining light of your ideals guide us to a brighter tomorrow. He gone. Okay, he's just kind of dead, I guess. Uh okay, we have another cutscene on the way out. I hope not. Cause... Don't worry, Pops. We'll keep our promise. Yes. And thank you, Magnolia. And forgive me. Hmm? Como? Whatever for? The ball in the sky hole destroyed your home, right? It's your sworn mission to defeat it. If we hadn't stopped the Professor Sandstorm, you could have accomplished this already. You could have had your revenge. <sighs> you, listen to me. My home on the moon was destroyed by that ball. This is the undeniable reality. And it is true. Destroying that ball and avenging my people is my mission. Before I left the moon, my commander spoke to me. You are strong, he said. But there is only so much you can do on your own. You must find new comrades on Luxendark. New companions. Comrades who would fight at my side? Here in this strange and distant land? <laughs> who needs them, I thought. I had already decided this operation would be a lonely one. And yet, the very first person I met here offered to be... my friend. I was too happy for words. From one friend followed another. Before I knew it, I had a new mission. A new calling. I want to help you. I want to fight at your side. I want to save Agnes. Together. Do you understand, you? I'm one of Agnes's ball-busting Avengers, just like you. Magnolia, she's right. The four of us didn't come together just by chance. We're true companions, united by a common cause. A common cause? Yes, that describes us exactly. To bust the ball! Kick the Kaisers behind! And rescue Agnes! Together we can do it. We will do it. Let's go for the gravy, everyone! For the gravy! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and give it a save, and it's gonna be it for this episode. We're already running a bit long. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Uh, God bless, and goodbye. <laughs>